Thanks for tuning in to Born to Ride TV. This week, it's election time, and we urge you to go out and vote. We caught up with Bikers for Trump at High Octane Saloon, where Mayor Rudy Giuliani gave Born to Ride an exclusive interview. To be fair and balanced, we did reach out to the Clinton campaign, but they did not return our calls. So get out and do your part. Vote this Tuesday. All this and more here on Born to Ride. I'm Mayor Rudy Giuliani, and you're watching Born to Ride. My name is Chris Cox with Bikers for Trump. I founded it back last August, and uh, since then we've grown into the biggest demographic in the presidential campaign cycle. The uh, next closest demographic to us would be Vets for Trump, and uh, that's followed by Women for Trump, Christians for Trump, and I think uh, Hispanics for Trump. Our goal, our crowning achievement has been that we can go into an area with little to no notice and we can rally a group of 500, 1,000, up to you know, up to 35,000 bikers will come to a rally, and uh, that's just a unique quality of the biker community. They do rally, and so that's made our job a little easier. And so we've served a lot of different functions throughout the campaign. Our narrative has changed. At first, our crying achievement was bringing people together and having a rally. Later, we would go into the um, Donald Trump's campaign events where we would serve as a calming factor, not as a vigil anti-force like the military and the, I mean the uh, media wanted to portray us as, but just as a, uh, you know, just being there with the reputation of not taking any crap. And so, as a result of that, the, uh, the a lot of the demonstrations came down. And uh, you may have seen us in Cleveland, Ohio, where we stood shoulder to shoulder with law enforcement. And um, after that, we went into Sturgis, where we had 35,000 bikers show up for a rally. And um, since then, we've had about seven rallies, all of which we've had congressional members that have come out to Trump as our speakers. And um, it's just been a, a hurricane of support for the biker community for Donald Trump. One of the main reasons is because this country has been politically tongue-tied by political correctness. And Donald Trump single-handedly untied the tongue of America. And that outspoken nature has a, has a, goes hand in hand with the outspoken nature of the biker. I'm Shoe Bout Carey. If you want to learn my, how I got my call sign after Mr. Deputy Mayor Giuliani leaves, you can buy me a beer and I'll tell you the story. I did 29 years in the Navy. I started off as a ship driver. Did that for one year, 11 months, 14 days, 53 minutes, and 28 seconds. Loved it so much I counted every second. Then I was an aviator and got to drop bombs during Desert Storm. Pretty awesome job. I stayed in the Navy for 29 years and I got off active duty and went to the reserves and I started working veterans issues throughout. And one of the things is that the Republican National Committee has made a commitment, probably the strongest commitment that any party has ever made, to getting the veteran vote out. We've hired over 35 veteran full-time staffers around the country, five here in Florida, to get out the veteran vote. We've recruited over 26,000 veteran volunteers to help get out the veteran vote. But one thing I'm going to ask you about today is that there's 1.5 million veterans here in Florida. And we think that 300,000 of them are still uncommitted as to who they're going to vote for for president. 300,000. Right here in Sisters County, we think there's over 4,500 veterans that still haven't made up their mind. This election is unprecedented, the number of people that are undecided at this stage in the election. And that gives us the opportunity. So we must have an ad song for America's man, America's man. Thank you. Thank you very much. This fantastic uh, group of people and it's great work that you're doing. And you, love you too. We all love each other, right? Because we're all in this together because we want to change our country, we want to change the direction of our country. 
you, you, you're here and you have this enthusiasm like I see all over the country. I was in New Hampshire yesterday, there's the same enthusiasm there. People want to see a change in direction in this country, both domestically, militarily, foreign policy. We couldn't be, in fact, here's the best speech I can give and the best advice I can give Donald Trump. You look at everything Obama did and do the opposite. Let's do the opposite. It's right there for you. Everything he did, you just turn it around and do the opposite and this country will take, take off. So let's talk about some of the positive things he's going to do that she won't do. First of all, it's going to be hard for her to carry on the presidency from Dannemora Prison. But yeah. maybe, they can, maybe, they can, maybe they can hook up some wires for her, you know, she can do it by the phone. Although she might destroy those, I'm not sure. So the first, the first, the first, the first thing he's going to do. Okay, and he's already building. If you know anything about Donald Trump, you have to realize he's already building the wall. I handled top secret material for five years in the Justice Department. I never once took a piece of it out of my office. And every night I locked it in a safe and had somebody countersign for it. And I, had, I have had to, unfortunately in my career, put people in jail for doing 10% of what she did. And I now, I actually feel guilty about some of those people I put in jail. One document, two documents. You go to jail. Who has, who has the handcuff? <laughs> I'm Mayor Rudy Giuliani, and you're watching Born to Ride. First of all, I want to thank everyone in the biker community that's supporting Donald Trump. You're his largest uh, group of supporters. Uh, so many of you are veterans, and so many of you support veterans just like he does. It's something he talks about all the time, that we have to do better for our veterans, make sure they get the right care, make sure that they get the right uh, medical assistance, uh, fix the VA, give them the ability, uh, give them a card, a voucher so they can go to the hospital of their choice if they're not happy with the VA or the VA is too far away or can't deal with their illness. And he understands how much the bikers have done all over the country in generating the, the support and the enthusiasm for this movement and we're all in it together. It's a movement try to take Washington back, really, from the crooks who are running it. I mean, the reality is they're running it for themselves. It's their own little game. Uh, the Clintons have, you know, made $250 million off that game, I think illegally. But in any event, we want to take it back for the people. Donald Trump will get elected without owing anything to any of the special interests. He doesn't owe anything to the banks. He doesn't owe anything to the, to the accounting firms. He doesn't owe anything to the law firms. He doesn't owe anything to any country. He only owes one thing, the, the duty to be an honest and decent president for you, because you're the ones who put him in office, and to do the things that can help you, not just help the special interests, like reduce taxes and make it e easier to get a good job and uh, to bring back uh, companies that we've lost because of terrible trade deals where we've given away too much. So. He will also yes, be yeah, the best president for the military that we've had since Ronald Reagan, I believe. Uh, he'll bring it back to the levels Ronald Reagan added at, increase the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, make sure we have a nuclear defense, and he'll be able to say radical Islamic terrorism and say we're at war with you and it's not over until we defeat you. So uh, you, you got the right guy and he's got the right group of people supporting him. And if she wants to call us deplorables, I'm glad to join you. I'm a deplorable too, but I'm a deplorable for a great country and a much greater country if we can get the right leadership uh, that we need. Thank you.